hello guys welcome back to CFS video tutorials in this video tutorial um, we will go through storefront opening in a wall so let me open CFS over here and so I'll have like this options so under wall framing I'll go to wall with opening okay so once this opens up I can save it with some name I would say storefront opening this usually happens in light gauge building constructions so first thing um, let's say I have an opening of size 8 foot okay and then comes the studs above it and the studs below it so I'll keep this as two foot whereas this would be um, two foot and I don't have anything on the parapet like this is on level one so it just goes from level one to level two like the storefront opening wall so I'll keep this as zero so this is like parapet small parapet wall if this storefront opening is on the ninth level or tenth level I mean topmost level of your building so you need to include your parapet but in this scenario I don't need it and next coming to the width of the opening I'll say it's eight foot and next thing so over here I need to make sure that my lateral pressure needs to apply to head and sill so this is the head and this would be my sill so my lateral pressure is applied for for the beam and for the sill now I have other options like over here jam only so in this scenario it would get applied to the studs as you can see it would get uh, I mean the major force is like gets resisted by the studs now if you have four ways you can select four ways I mean being resisted by both beam uh, cell and the studs and also you have there is another scenario where it is completely open so I'll select right now I need head cell only okay and since this is on level one my wind pressure would be around 25 psf and I don't have any parapet pressure so I don't need to worry about that whatever the number is because I have already inputted uh, height of the wall in parapet as 0 feet now wall self weight I'll keep it as 12 psf next thing additional uniform axial load I don't have any load unless you have any joists so you can say like 500 pounds additional jam axial load nothing make sure this is one the deflection uh, factor okay now as you can see the all these results are in red so we need to make those like not in red I mean less than one so that everything passes so first I'll go to my wall stud so I, let me select 600 as 200 I'll go to 54 now going to 54 help me but not much still I am failing in I mean my interaction is failing in bending axial interaction so let me do this I'll go to 600 as 162 54 50 ksi i'll do it back to back this way it helps my stud a lot okay now you can have i mean you can have this stud spacing as 24 inches on center to make it little bit economical also my flexural pressing will be midpoint and even for a jam
next information I need to enter is for jams okay so what I'll do is like I'll select 162 I'll select 54 it will be 50 KSI back to back so my jam information is good everything passes that's great now coming to the header type so over here we have our header and which is experiencing lateral pressure I mean wind pressure so let me select this as box lateral combined now you can look over here like what is what I mean if you have single member it looks like only the bottom track if you have pro X header it looks like this whereas you have box lateral combined you have two stud members and then you have two track members covering it up whereas you have box lateral top bottom looks similar to this and similarly you have strong back lateral track so we'll be going with uh, so we'll be going with uh, over here if you can see lateral support does not distinguish if lateral load occurs above or below the header so in other words I mean the whole load is been taken by the beam I mean so like in this scenario uh, the lat the studs experience the lateral load and that is being resisted by the top track right now I'm selecting this option because nevertheless I'm gonna have some kind of clip uh, connecting the top stud on my beam and even the bottom studs to the cell or uh, yeah to the bottom track I mean so I'll be selecting box lateral combined my members will be let's see 600 as 162.54 boxed works fine next going to 600 T150 54 it works fine single works fine so we don't have to worry about adding another track and next thing that comes up is cell so let's do cell T150 54 and single so this works fine it says just stiffness required but if I do this let's do this 68 if I do if I go to 68 no stiffness are required in the beam so that is fine okay so this connector summary over here gives me my reactions on jam and on the studs okay uh, and these are like Simpson strong type bridging connectors used so uh, now this is the data that you're going to use for this wall completely like you have the studs you have jam and stud and you have header type and then you have your cell so this is how you do uh, your storefront opening let's look out for distortion buckling we don't we won't be doing anything right now so you have this jam connections you can I mean select whichever you want like right now it's selected the most economical one similarly stud connections you have the same thing so yeah this is how you do uh, a storefront opening in CFS designer uh, if you have any questions please comment below thank you for watching this video